Hey YouTube, it's ICU. With the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus having recently been released, there's a new gate scandal that's starting to go around and spread across the Apple blogosphere like wildfire. Last year, it was Ben Gate, since Apple corrected that with the 7000 series aluminum and the improved design in the 6S and 6S Plus. This year, it may be something referred to as Chip Gate. And in this video, we're going to go over exactly what it means, whether it's actually important, and which manufacturer's chip is powering your iPhone. <laughs> All right, so to start off for some quick background information, the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus are both powered by Apple's new A9 CPU. Now, Apple contracted two primary companies to manufacture their chip, being Samsung and TSMC. Now, essentially, TSMC uses a slightly bigger manufacturing process than Samsung. Samsung uses a 14 nanometer process, whereas TSMC uses a 16 nanometer process. And this actually results in better battery life on iPhones powered by a TSMC chip. So interestingly, YouTuber Austin Evans performed a battery test with a utility known as Geekbench, which I've used here on the channel a number of times to actually run through some various benchmark tests so we can kind of get a feel for a device's overall computing capabilities. Well, Geekbench also has a secondary portion to it, a battery benchmark test. So he ran this test on two different iPhones, one powered by the Samsung chip, one powered by the TSMC one. And interestingly, the results of the test found that the TSMC power powered iPhone lasted approximately 50 minutes longer when running it down to a 50% charge, which equates to a 1.5% difference in battery life, and the temperature on the TSMC-based iPhone was also noticeably cooler. Now, in lighter real-world tasks such as watching a video, the difference is nominal, equating to about a 1% battery advantage of the TSMC iPhone over the Samsung one, though power users who utilize apps that require more system resources will certainly notice a difference. And at this point, you may be wondering whether the Samsung chip boasts performance improvements over the TSMC-powered iPhones since they actually have longer battery life. Not at all. In fact, on Geekbench, TSMC iPhones have proven to receive a higher Geekbench score, though in real-world situations, the difference isn't noticeable whatsoever, and they do perform and accomplish tasks at pretty much the same time. So, that's great. How do we find out which chip is actually powering our iPhone? Well, there was an app inside of Apple's App Store. However, the developer actually took it down. So what we're going to have to do is resort to our computer. We're going to have to plug in with a USB cable and we're going to have to download some software that we can use to unveil a special identifier which confirms the manufacturer of the A9. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is on your computer, hop on over to this website. It will have it linked for you guys down below in the more info and you're going to click on download. Once you do, it will bring you to this screen and you'll click the corresponding button based on your computer's OS. So if you're on Windows, Windows, obviously download the Windows version. If you're on Mac OS 10, download the one intended for Mac. And once you click on download, it should just automatically start the download and place it in your downloads folder. Once it does, you can actually mount the disk image if you're on a Mac or just go through the installer process on a Windows computer. Just essentially click on agree to the prompt and then on Mac here, you just need to drag it to your applications folder and that's it. I already have it in my applications folder, so I just have this replaced place option, we're just going to click on replace and it should just copy it right over. Again, on Windows, you just need to go through the on-screen prompts for the executable. And then from there, before we run the application, we actually need to use iTunes. So ensure that you open up iTunes and then you're going to have to actually connect your device to your computer and ensure that you trust the connection between the device as well as the computer. This is only really relevant if this is the first time connecting your iPhone to your computer or if it's the first time connecting since it was last recently stored. And once you've established that connection and iTunes recognizes your device, you can open up iMazing on your computer. So I quickly created a shortcut right here and we're just going to double click to open it and we're just going to click on the open prompt here to allow us to actually open the iMazing application. And as you can see, it states that we have 14 days left on our free trial. That's completely fine. We're just going to click on continue trial. We can get this information with the trial version of iMazing and we do not have to enter an activation number and we really only need this one time. So you can just click on continue trial because after you're done, you can actually delete it if you want. Now, I'm going to show you guys really quick how to actually open up iMazing if it's giving you problems on a Mac. If you're on Windows, you can just skip past this part. Essentially, you need to go to security and privacy inside of system preferences. You need to unlock to actually make changes and then allow applications downloaded from anywhere. And then you'll just reopen it and then click on open to the prompt 
prompt like what I actually did seconds ago. So you're just going to close out of system preferences now and you're good to continue. All right, so once your iPhone's connected and you have iMazing open, you're just going to click on Get Info and then you need to scroll down on the little pop-up until you get to the hardware model. So as you can see here, my hardware model is N66MAP. We're only really interested in the last few here. We're not interested in the first part because that will actually be dynamic based on whether you have a plus or just a regular 6S. So if the ending is MAP or MAP, then that means you have an iPhone powered by a TSMC manufactured A9 CPU. If it's just AP, that means you have an iPhone that's powered by a Samsung manufactured CPU. So I will have these identifiers for you guys listed down below in the more info as well, just so you can compare against what actually pops up inside of iMazing. And I'm going to give you guys one more example on a different iPhone here. So I'm actually going to unplug this iPhone and I have another iPhone 6S. I'm just going to grab the rose gold one so you guys know that this is indeed a 6S. And of course we do have the S indicator on the bottom. So we're just going to do exactly the same thing and we're going to plug into the computer via a USB cable here. And we're just going to switch on over to that iPhone and then click on get info and scroll down until we get to that hardware model number as well. As you can see here, this is actually powered by a Samsung CPU. So we have the ending of AP instead of the MAP. So this one will have less battery life than a corresponding iPhone 6S powered by a TSMC manufactured A9 chip. All right, so that's all the info that we actually need from iMazing. If you guys don't need it anymore, you can actually uninstall it. We have all the info we need, and we now know which manufacturer's chip powers this iPhone TSMC, so it will have higher battery life. So I hope you guys liked this video and you found the information in it useful. Be sure to rate it up if you did. Leave any comments you have down below in the comment section. Remember, this is an alternative to the App Store solution that, of course, is no longer available. Now, if you guys want a chance to win a brand new iPhone 6S, of your own. All you have to do is just navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of mobile Safari, sign up. It doesn't take long whatsoever. Download any of the sponsored apps you see here in the main section. You can download one or more. It really doesn't matter. And you can actually use those points to redeem some awesome prizes, including gift cards and paid apps from Apple's app store. But what you need to do for the giveaway is just navigate to the fourth tab and you see that unique part of the link right there, what appears after the equals symbol, you need to take that and post it in the comment section of this video. I will have it linked for you guys on your screens now via cards as well as annotations. All right, and that wraps up this video. If you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release similar ones covering various things ranging from the brand new iPhone 6S and 6S Plus to the next untethered jailbreak, just be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to, and like me on Facebook as well as follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.